Mike, your uh, reflections on John and how well he pitched tonight. Incredible. Um, you know, you, you put a guy in a situation like this, and we talk a lot about him being a big game pitcher, about the experience he's had, um, how he thrives in these situations, and, and then he just takes it there and, and goes a step further with uh, just the way he, he, he competed today. I thought his fastball was as good as we've seen. Um, period. And he had good movement when he wanted it. He got the ground balls when he needed them. I thought the slider was very sharp. I mean, just um, use the top of the zone, use the bottom of the zone. I think anything he wanted to do, he pretty much had. And uh, he, he controlled the counts and trusted the defense behind him. It was exactly what we needed. And, um, you know, I don't know if you could ask him to do any more than what he did. Jennifer? Mike, you had seen John from the other side of the field before last year. When he came here, did he match up to who you thought he was going to be, in, or has he been even better on the field than you anticipated? Yeah, um, you know, we brought him in last year. He was uh, he was a great shot in the arm for our club, and when he showed up in the spring training, there was uh, there was something more, uh, and not that he was holding back last season, but you know, I think he just uh, he found something that that felt right, and since the beginning, since spring training. There's been just a, um, a different level, and it's been impressive to watch and, and something that, once again, you start looking how our season played out and early on with Adam Wainwright going down, we needed his presence. We needed his experience. We needed uh, so many things that he brings to the table naturally, and um, it's just been exactly what, what our club was looking for, especially for, for our young pitchers and their development and for big situations like this for him to lead the way. Jason? Um, Mike, you called John a big game pitcher. What is it about him that allows him to rise to these moments? Where does that come from? You know, I don't think you ever want to discount um, experience, um, being in these situations before. You know, a, lot of, a lot of players are, are just waiting for the first time to, to prove it to themselves, not just the rest of the world. And John Lackey's been there. Um, I, I think there's just something inside of him, a lot like what we've seen in the past uh, and our staff from an Adam Wainwright and from a Chris Carpenter and on down the line, these guys who, who want that role as being uh, the, the, the one that sets the tone. And uh, that's something that John Lackey has done very well. And we've seen it from the other side. When you get him into a big situation, he's, he's not going to scare, and he's going to come out with, with better stuff when you turn up the heat. And that uh, says a lot. You, you mix that with the kind of stuff he's ha he has right now, and he's a top-tier pitcher. Stand to your right, Mike. What was the discussion like there before the eighth? Was that one batter kind of a negotiation, or how was the, how was that, how did that play out there in the dugout? The discussion with, with John. Um, no, I mean we. I was pretty much leaving him alone and um, letting him do his thing, knowing that uh, Castro's a guy that's given us a lot of trouble in the past, and and uh, I like the way that he was going about trying to get him out. And, um, you know, we, we have a lot of faith in our bullpen to come in and do their thing on the backside. And, and uh, Kevin Segrist certainly didn't disappoint. He did a terrific job. Front row, we'll take a couple more, Joe. Your, your kids uh, uh, gave you some breathing room there yeah. uh, at the end. Can you talk a little bit about what Tommy's done for you and, and Steven's contributions all through the year? Well, Steven's been as consistent as any young player you could ever um, bring into a situation where, you know, we throw him in not just into the big leagues, but we throw him in a position where he hasn't had a lot of repetition. He does a great job. Um, and, and just the consistency in the way he goes about his business. He's got a great baseball IQ. He makes incredible adjustments for a young player. Uh, he knows he's got a lot to, to learn still, and he's wanting to learn. And uh, he's got the aptitude to, to make it all happen. And it's just been, been fun to watch him. And Tommy Pham, we brought in out of necessity. We needed a spark. And I think tonight kind of shows that, that he has that potential. He's just been uh, a guy that once he gets going, it's, um, it, it's another uh, skill set with the speed, with the defense, and then the power. Um, and, and you know, you talk about young players that sometimes you wonder how they're going to respond when you put them on a stage like this, but not with Tommy. You, you know he's going he's gonna to be there. You know he, uh, he's been looking forward to this for a long time, and, and tonight he uh, did a great job with it. We'll take three more real quick. Michael, it seems like we always talk about managers' moves when they don't work out. But you put Reynolds in for defense, he makes a great play, you pull you know, Lackey at the right time, and then Fan pinch hits. I mean, how rewarding is it when all three of those things kind of work out exactly as you would have loved? Well, Lackey just walked in, and he didn't think that he was pulled at the right time. But um, <laughs> as far as um, getting Mark Reynolds, you know, that's something we've been able to do most of the year. And um, Mark is, uh, is a great defender. We've put him all over the field, whether it's in the outfield, third base. We've even featured him. 
uh, in the middle of the infield. And uh, at first base, he's done a real nice job. So we're trying to uh, get Steven some exposure, exposure over there. But we get late into the game. Uh, we have no problem bringing Mark in and then get Steven to a more comfortable position in the outfield. And, uh, you know, fortunately, you know, ball made its way to him and, and Mark made a very, very tough play. That play is much tougher than maybe what it looked like at face value. Um, but, you know, they, the guys came in and you just put them in situations where you hope that they can thrive. And, and uh, boy, um, watching them do what they do, is, it's, it's been fun all season. And you just try and, um, try and get them in those spots where they can do it. With Jennifer and then Phil. How did Yadi come through the game physically? You know, I <clears throat> so impressed with him today. I told him this after the game. When when he's got that that kind of uh, energy and life, and and the you can see it's infectious when when he gets behind the plate. And you know, he just about knocked Matt Carpenter over. I think on the first strikeout, and uh, he, it had to be ninety six that he threw down to third base. Um, you could tell he, he's just been anxious to get in there. He's been on the shelf here for a while trying to get that thumb right. I thought his swings looked good. Um, the way he moved behind the plate today, the way he and John uh, were just kind of working back and forth. And Yachty always has his eye on the field. I, I enjoy talking to him because he's got a great baseball mind as well. But um, he is so valuable to our club in so many different ways, ways that you can't put numbers to. Um, but today was an example of one of those days. To your left, Mike, Phil. Mike, after four days off since the end of the season, any extra weight or significance to coming out with two big hits in the first inning? Yeah, I think it's, it's important for us to you know, give John a little breathing room. We haven't given him a whole lot of space this year where it uh, seems like every game he's pitching in, he's going to have to hold on tight. And, and uh, I know it doesn't bother him. We would much rather give him a little more cushion. But um, you know, Steven getting us going with that double and Matt Holiday doing what he does, which he gets big hits, and uh, did give at least a little bit of room uh, to breathe until the, the young guys made something happen late. Um, but that's kind of what we've been all season long. I don't know why we'd be surprised that it happened again right now, and it's probably going to continue to be that way. But um, this team's comfortable in that spot. You know, if we got to just grind and fight and, and hold on to a, a small lead, um, we trust our guys to get it done.